the next tool here under Enhance. Let's come down here is the Photo Merge tool and Panorama. Now what this does is it allows you to combine several pictures together into one panorama. Now there are several options in here, perspective, cylindrical, spherical, collage, and reposition. I've actually found that auto works 99% of the time. So I just always use that one. If you try auto and you don't like how it looks, then you can go back and you can try one of these other ones and see if it has any better effect for you. But I would always start with the auto. Now you need to have files in here and you want to blend your images together. If there's any vignette problem, you want to remove that vignette and you can go for a geometric distortion correction. Now I don't have any of that stuff in these images. There's no vignetting in there. That's fine. There's no distortion in there, so that's okay. So I can leave those alone. I want them blended though. And since I already have those three pictures open, I'll just click on Add Open Files. There they are. Choose OK. It's now going to go through, look at those files, find where the overlap is, reposition the files, and then blend the files together to make a new panorama shot. There we go. Now we can choose to fill the panorama if you want. We can see here, there's the first picture. It's kind of like right in there. That's the left one. The middle one is in here somewhere. Looks like there's the edge, but to cut the edge off a little bit. So that's the middle picture right here. And the right side picture, that's this bit over there. Notice here the angle on that. So there's been a perspective shift as well to bring those together. But you can see what a great job it actually does in here. You can really tell by the sky. The sky is real nice and clean. There's no line showing in there at those division marks. So it did a great job. Let's go ahead and try to fill in the edges. We'll see what it does this. And we'll then crop in on that afterwards. Actually, it looks pretty good. It's a little bit of doubling in here, but I think we're okay. Probably crop in just a little bit to clean out that and that. But there it is. That is the panorama. And as you can see, the auto function is a, a great job on that. I'm going to zoom in here. There we go. Let's go over here to the hand tool. So you can see there's the panorama. And if I if I scroll across, I know that the merge is in here someplace, but I sure can't see it. It does just a phenomenal job. Actually, the this is the middle piece is right in here someplace. And I really can't see where that where that merges. It did a beautiful job of merging those three pictures together into one large panoramic shot. And something like this, you get a much better idea of what the whole thing looks like by having it as a panorama. Okay, let's just zoom out here a little bit. There we go. So that's it. That is the photo merge panorama. And again, great tool for this kind of panorama shot. Now, this was all handheld. I didn't have any trap or anything here. You can, this actually works out pretty well on handheld. You can try to be as smooth as possible. Obviously, the smoother you are, the better off it is. And if you're, if you're trying to go for a panorama like I did here, try to have a good amount of overlap on your pictures. I like overlapping you know, a quarter to a third of the picture on my overlaps. And that just helps Photoshop Elements to be able to make that match and find the best parts from those pictures to make that blend. So you have a good wide overlap. You can see in here, almost half of that picture, this picture here is overlapping here and almost half of it is overlapping down there. So there's a lot of overlap and that gives you the best panoramas. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.